What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step by step on how to draw a star fox. Let's begin today's lesson at the top of our page and draw the bottom edge of the brow. Let's leave a gap in the center. We're gonna start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and then we'll bend that out. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Let's go back to the inside of the brow and just curl this in and then up towards the top. And then we'll add a couple points on the outside of the brow. Starting on the left, bend this in with a short line. Go up and bend that out. Now from the top, I'm just gonna curl this up and then just bend that down towards the inside of the brow. Now I want to tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. On the outside, let's step in, draw a half circle all the way down towards the bottom of the eye, and just bend that up on the inside. Let's draw a smaller half circle on the inside. On the top left, we're gonna step in, curve down towards the bottom, and just pull that up on the inside. Let's trace the iris along the inside, going all the way around, and then just tuck that up underneath the brow. And we'll add a small highlight on the top left side, starting with a half circle, going all the way around and up. And then we'll fill the inside of the pupil, going around that highlight. Let's add a curve in between the eyes. Going up in the middle, and then back down. Now from the bottom of the eyes, curve this down, and then bend that out. Now I'm gonna go back to the center and add in the nose. Starting with a curve going up, and then down. Curve this down and in towards the center. And it'll fill the inside of the nose. Now from the bottom tip of the nose, curve the mouth coming down and up towards the left. Go back to the center, come down and then up towards the right. Let's connect these two lines with a curve, coming down towards the chin. Just gonna round this out and pull that back up. Let's add in the cheeks. From the tip of the eyebrow, we're gonna step out, curve this down and then bend that out. Let's add a fold underneath the cheeks. Coming down and bending that in towards the side of the head. Now from the tip, we're gonna step in, curve this down, and then in underneath the head. Now we're gonna add a lens across the left eye. Start from the top, go straight out. Come down towards the bottom of the straight line. And just pull that in underneath the eye. Let's connect the top and bottom corner with a curve, going around towards the side of the head and back in. Now we're going to work our way up towards the top of the head, starting on the left, go straight up. And we want to bend this in, leaving a gap in between. Let's go over towards the right, go across, and then bring that straight down on the right side. From the inside of the head, we're going to curve this in and then pull that down towards the center. And then we'll add in the mohawk. Starting from this point, curve this up and in. I'm just gonna bend that up towards the middle. Curve this out towards the right, and then bring that down. Let's add a fold. Halfway along this curve, go out and down towards that right point. Now I'm gonna add the ears on the side of that mohawk. Starting from this point on the left, curve the ear going up, and bend that out. Go back to the left side, curve the ear going out, down, and then back in towards the side of the head. Now 
Now we want to trace the ears along the inside. Going up towards the top, and then back in. Let's add that detail on the side of the head. Start on the left, angle this down and out. And we'll line this up on the right. Come straight down just above the cheeks. We'll angle this back down and in. Let's add two small circles on the right side. One on the top and one on the bottom. Now I'm gonna move to the center and draw two straight lines coming down the inside of the jacket. You mean gap in the center, start on the left, draw a straight line coming down towards the hip, go to the right, and do the same thing. From the bottom of the jacket, draw a straight line going out towards the hips, and then on the left side, go straight up, and then just bend this in along the top. Let's angle the collar going up and out underneath the head. Now we're also going to have two small half circles on the side of the collar. Let's add a detail on the side of the body, come down and in along the side, go straight down with a short line, and go straight out. Let's add one more line going across the center of that panel. Let's add a zipper along the side. From the top, we'll step out. Just draw another straight line coming all the way down. And then along the top, we'll add the scarf, coming down and then up. From the bottom of the jacket, we'll step up, draw a straight line across the bottom of the belt, step up, and draw another line. Now I'm going to add in the buckle from the center, angle up and out to the left and right side. Now we're going to continue working down towards the bottom of the feet. From the buckle, let's step down, add a curve, going up and then down. Leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, put the leg going out and then down toward the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and then down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve the foot, coming down, and then up. From the outside of the foot, we're gonna curve this up, and we'll bend this down, aiming towards the heel. We wanna leave a gap on the inside. Now we're gonna go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Start on the left, curving this out, and then bringing that down on top of the feet. Now halfway down the side of the leg, we're gonna add the edge of the boot. Coming down and up, line this up on the right. Now you wanna step down and draw that again. Now we're gonna add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. Take this curve, step up from the toe, and just trace that across on both sides. Let's add that toe cap in and then down towards the sole. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the arms. We start halfway down the side of the body, curl the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. We'll line this up on the right. Now from the wrist, draw a small half circle curving in and out for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now we're gonna add three fingers on either side. Let's start underneath the thumb, curve this down and up around that bracket. Come down along the side, come down and then up. And then the third finger will start on the side, go out, bend the arm coming up and in towards the side of the collar. Now from the top of the thumb, we're going to step up and add the edge of the glove going up and then out. And then we'll add a triangle in the back of each hand, starting above the fingers, draw a straight angle line coming down and in. 
and then pull this up and in towards the cuff, towards the center point. Let's leave a gap above the glove and add the sleeve, coming in and then down. Let's step up and draw that again. Let's add a half circle on the right arm, coming in and then back out. And we'll trace this along the inside. Now let's add the tail coming out along the left side, starting from the hip, curve this around down, pull this back up toward the tip of the tail, come down and then in behind the leg. Let's separate the tail with a zigzag pattern. And we'll finish off by sunning our artwork and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's our cartoon illustration of Star Fox. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.